There's no worse feeling than getting dumped for your rival. Aiden Shaw knows it, Jennifer Aniston knows it, Catherine of Aragon knows it. But does the US know it? Because lately, a quiet but steady stream of top AI experts are leaving the US for China. It's part of an old story. Powers have always competed for talent. From Britain and France luring chemists, to the US and Soviets poaching German engineers, to today's race for AI minds. Two of the biggest names, Song Chun Zhu and Guo Jun Qi, both China-born, US-trained, and now taking up top positions back home. China's state media loves the narrative. Patriots returning, technology rising, and the numbers back it up. In 2024, China's AI researchers published nearly four times more papers and filed 10 times more patents than the US. But this isn't just about numbers, it's about the push and pull. China offers labs with cash, data, and freedom to experiment. The US, meanwhile, faces funding cuts, strict visa rules, and political chill. Does that mean China is winning the AI race? Not necessarily. The US still leads in chips, capital, and software innovation. But if even world-class thinkers like UCLA's Terry Tao say they might leave if things don't improve, that should be a wake-up call for Washington. If you want the best minds to stay, you need to give them reasons to call America home. That's why the top minds reading the International Intrigue newsletter are not leaving us anytime soon.